it's Carrie with King Concoctions and I'm back after like two weeks to make a cold process soap video. Um, for you it's probably not been two weeks but I've been down with a pretty nasty cold. Um, you can probably hear some of it still in my voice but I'm, I'm getting over it I swear to goodness. So, but I wanna, I wanna make some soap. I'm gonna get right into it. So, really quick, I am making um, a soap with a scent called Cashmere Scarf, and um, came from that Southern Sensations place that is near by to where I live. And let's get started. So, already, I thought I burped my stick blender, but I'll do it again. And then, whoops, put my lion. We go that's trace <clears throat> I'm using two colors today so most of my batch is going to be a yellow color um, this is very bright I'm hoping that once it's in most of the soap it'll be a little bit lighter and then for an accent color I'm going to use this brown um, this is the yellow itself came from a no-name company on eBay but the brown is that only beauty kind that I um, that I've used in past videos that, that came from the batch from Amazon a while back so I don't really want a lot of brown so I'm just gonna pour off a, a little bit of this into here mm, that should be enough and now I'm gonna pour the yellow in here this fragrance might accelerate and it might discolor um, it's hard to say what fragrance it's like um, because it doesn't seem like any of the other companies out there have a um, have a similar fragrance that I can tell. This company, the, the Southern Sensations Company, does do a lot with um with uh, Crafters Choice, so it could be that <clears throat> that this is like the Crafters um, Cashmere in, in Cotton scent, um, which would be cool because that one does not have any vanillin or vanillin. Um, this is a really light yellow, isn't it? Um, Whereas, if it's like some of the other cashmere style um, scents out there, they are they're evidently based off, um, they're a dupe of some type, I don't know what kind. Um, they are, they usually do have a little bit of vanillin in it, so we'll see if it discolors or not. That's a really pretty pale yellow, that's exactly what I was hoping for. Alrighty, set that off to the side really quick. <clears throat> So I'm gonna make sure I don't forget my fragrance oil in my in my batch, though, right? It also might dis, uh, might accelerate. The one that was on Crafters Choices website said it might. So just stirring up a pretty brown here. Ooh, this reminds me of chocolate, you guys. I'll have to try and get more of this brown. I really like this color. Over here, I've got my fragrance oil. I'm gonna, uh, let me stick it in the yellow first. <clears throat> I lied. I'm gonna stick a very little bit of it in the brown, but I'm not gonna stir it just yet. Maybe a little bit more. Alrighty. Then here, this should, because the fragrance oil itself is a little bit yellow, it might turn my batch yellow. We'll see. <clears throat> Yeah. So my general guess is this will be like it said on the Crafters Choice or the Wholesale Supplies Plus website where it said it did turn the batch neon yellow. Um, but they did say once it was mixed in and it was cured it was no longer neon yellow. They did say it accelerated. I, I don't see that yet. But um, I suppose we'll find out, right? It is very bright. <laughs> I sure hope it doesn't stay that color. <laughs> <clears throat> well, we'll see. Cool beans is that it probably means it's the non discoloring version. Yeah, it doesn't seem to have a lot of acceleration there. So, your guess is as good as mine, but I think I'll still be able to do it in the pot swirl. Just kind of what I wanted this 
brown is a little is a little intense so although it might help uh, might help curb that bright yellow color <laughs> mm, I can't tell I might have a little bit of um racing in the brown if that's what it is that's okay no I don't think so I think it's just that the, the way that the lights are reflecting off the the way that the the color is a little bit shimmery so I'm using a different different mold today too I um I bought a new mold because it's kind of half the fun of this uh this hobby is you get to try a new thing so here I'm doing in the pot squirrel one two three and the fourth oh and then let me see here let me scrape out some of this I'm not going to do anything on the top for just this this point because I am going to do piping um, later on depending on lots of factors so um, see if I can't get there we go alrighty now I'm just scraping out my bowl whoops <laughs> that's how you end up with slope Brown soap everywhere is what I just did. I don't think I got it anywhere, but I'm not, it's still all in my bowl. But this fragrance is really pretty. I picked it out originally because I do believe it is a feminine fragrance, or not a feminine fragrance, a, a unisex fragrance without being fruit or uh, any such along those, or you know, exceptionally girly or flowery scents. And if you're hearing weird noises in the background, it's my cats. What can I tell you? I mean, I'm not going to swirl much here. All right. Scrape off my spatula. All righty. <laughs> so here's my new mold. It is um just shy of uh, three pounds, I believe. Is either going to work out really well right now guys this batch reminds me of um, chocolate bananas so <laughs> I'm sure hoping in the in the actual soap it will be not quite that bright alrighty well maybe it did accelerate it just a tad while I'm here, let's do the whole YouTube thing and ask you to please hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe if you would like to see more. That would be great. Um, you can also hit the bell and um, you'll be notified when I upload a new video, which will hopefully be every week. It hasn't been every week this past two weeks because I've been so sick. So I am going to bang this down really hard. Try and copy the uh, royalty soaps here and see if I can't get a really flat top. I don't need it really, but it would make me happy. <clears throat> Alrighty. And that's it. Um, I'm gonna let it set up and then I will see you guys when it's ready to um to pipe. So let me bring it up really quick so you guys can see it. Right now it's it's very yellow. <laughs> um, oh, we got some on this side too. And uh, I will see you guys when he's ready to pipe. Okay, I'm back to decorate the top of the cashmere scarf soap. Um, it looks like it did stay quite yellow, but hey, we're going to go with it. <clears throat> so in here, I just have a closed star tip. Um, I think it's a Wilton 2D, and I kind of hope this angle will work out for you guys for the piping. If not, I will continue to experiment for different ideas. So anyways, here we go! I 
you guys. Do you guys think I can fit another one on there? I think so. Looking pretty good so far. All right. <clears throat> in addition to the piping, I'm going to decorate the top a little bit. Um, in the cups, I have what will be a micro drizzle um, in the brown. Whoops. In the brown and in the yellow. I don't know if you can see that. <clears throat> and then I also have some of the um, the mica, or rather some sea salt that is decorated in the micas as well. So, alrighty. Um, I'm worried about overwhelming the whole thing, so we'll see how it goes, right? So here's the brown mica drizzle first. Now we'll do a little bit of the yellow. I really like this yellow. I didn't think I was going to like it at first. Just want a hint of those colors on there. Alrighty, now I'm going to grab some of this sea salt. Just kind of put it over the top here. Alright, some of the brown. Matches the mica drizzle really well. I think I'm going to put more yellow salt on though. My arm is probably in your way, isn't it? Here, let's try this way. I'm going to call that done until it's all set up. So let me lift it up here if I can and bring it a little bit closer so you guys can see. Alrighty, and I'll see you guys when it's ready to cut. Alright, the cashmere scarf is ready to cut. So let me unmold it and then I'll get my cutter set up. So we did end up with a very yellow bar of soap, but that's okay. That's the end piece. Turned out quite pretty. <clears throat> I'm glad I didn't decide to pipe it any taller. <clears throat> These turned out quite nice, I think. I'm very, I'm very happy how it turned out, even though it is a little bit of a bright yellow soap. I am losing a little bit of my salt, but that's okay. So let's put that there. Hopefully you can see it a little bit better. <clears throat> I forget how long this mold is, so we're just going to have to find out how many bars we end up with, don't you guys think? Anyways, I'm glad I didn't make it any taller, because otherwise it wouldn't go through my cutter okay. They did turn out quite nice, didn't they? I can't wait to make more. I really do like this mold for the more skinnier bars. <clears throat> That's what I bought it for, hoping it would make a decent skinny mold bar. <clears throat> that 
definitely. I wish it had a banana or a chocolate scent because I would totally name it chocolate banana soap. If I ever make a chocolate banana soap in the future, this is the exact design I'm going to use. I really like how the in the pot swirl came out too. That was my that was my actually first um in the pot swirl I ever tried. Trying to get this stuff out of the cutter here. Piping on each of the bars. Um, I think at this point I will fast forward through the rest of the video. You'll get to see each bar as they cut, but I'm not going to say anything. is the last one. It's interesting because it looks like the soap piping has separated right here, but that's all right. This is just a mini one, a little tiny one for samples or for to play with. Looks like I got 10 bars, but that's it. Let me grab my favorite here. I think this one's my favorite. <clears throat> I really like how it turned out. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. that scrapey noise that's my cat so that was one of the many examples I think of when I think oh you know you're gonna hear weird noises because my cats that would be one of the ones that frequently heard here in a house why she does that is beyond me